Have you ever just woken up with this burning sense that someone somewhere needs to hear this today? Let's talk about where your efforts and your energy go when you are building a brand, building a business or trying to reach people. Most entrepreneurs make the fundamental mistake of saying, my target market is everyone. Everyone should love what I do. I'm trying to sell to the whole world. Whether that is a product that you're trying to get out into the market, a book that you are writing, a song that you have in your mind, or something that you're developing that requires people, crowds, fans, followers, customers. It is a fundamental mistake to define your target market as everyone. I want you to picture a sprinkler system with too many outlets. You've got your water hose and it can only put out so much pressure at any given time. And what you've then done is decided that you want to water the world. What happens to the water pressure? It dissipates and nobody gets wet. What happens if you go a whole different route? What happens if instead of saying the world is my target market, you say the person with this psychographic, that demographic, that's my target market. I'm not trying to reach everyone because I'm not for everyone. When you do that, you make some important shifts. You focus and you narrow your marketing efforts. You more effectively speak to the right people. You don't need to spray the world with your product. You only need to get to those small believing tribes of followers, that die hard group that values what you do and couldn't do without it. Who's that for you? Are you making the mistake of dissipating your energy, your time, your resources and your marketing message in trying to reach everyone and you end up like a whisper in the wind? What if you change strategies? What if you went for what Seth Godin calls the minimum viable market? Just that one small group of people who adore and love what you do. You are not morally obliged to be for everyone and trying to be so doesn't work. Who's your group? Hone in on them, get the message across and that might change things for you. There are limits to how much energy you can put into what you're doing. Use the energy correctly and you could own your industry.